Creativity is an addiction. You can't live without it. It can't live without you. So why is the relationship always being bent and torn apart? Let's create together a way for you to understand what your creativity is saying to you and and it will understand what you're saying to it. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes, so turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Do you ever just find yourself thinking, finding that one place where you can say, ah, I think I'm going to just do nothing but think. I bump into a lot of people who say, ah, I don't like to think. I, there's too much going on in the world for me to even take the time to think. And yet, without thinking, there is no process. There is no personal growth. You, you've got to be able to think before you move. Do you ever just sit down and just think? Write out what you're thinking? Question what you're thinking? Learning from the way that you think? I mean, maybe I just stink or something. And it's like, ah, I want this stuff off me. But the only way that I'm going to take my thinking off me is to do something with it, to use it as a tool, to to dig into things, to understand why things happen and why things don't happen. And or is that just too much thinking? I love to think I love sitting in a room with nothing going on except nature around me and just thinking about what? Right. Whatever, whatever. That's the thing about it. When you allow yourself to think You go to a lot of places. And the thing is, is that with mindfulness, that tells you that you're in control. Now, you may not be in control of what you're thinking because everything around you is controlling what you're thinking, but you can put some control on it and get yourself in a mental shape of thinking that really brings peace to you rather than destruction. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I've been doing this since July of 1994. Yeah, journaling. That's what it is. It's journaling. I was in a conversation yesterday with with a writer who happens to be a published author, and we talked about thinking. And we talked about being writers versus being authors. And and there really is a difference. I mean, it's like a Trekkie and a Trekker. I mean, there's a difference. I mean, they, they both love Star Trek, but there's a difference between the Trekkies and the Trekker, just like a writer and an author. One and the same, right? Uh, yeah, not really. <laughs> this is the daily mess. Utilizing the strength of what feeds your imagination. Yeah, the stuff that happens before you think. I mean, we've all been told life is a series of continuations, right? So something has to unfold before a thought breaks free inside of you and me. Learning to trust instinct. Damn straight, I did some research on this, and that research shows our brains make up their mind 10 seconds before we realize it. So 10 seconds before I shared that thought, my brain was already putting it together. 10 seconds before you think, your body is already moving, and you don't know it. That's the area that I want to study, to be fully aware before the ink becomes a stain. Is this why I find so much influence and empowerment in stream thinking? It's reaching areas of thought before the rest of me invites judgment. So where do thoughts go wrong? Why does another person's thoughts not always gel with the presence of my thoughts? The series of continuations has changed this entire generation. An expert recently argued with me about the way that I think about this particular generation. They said I was wrong. I knew they would say that 10 seconds before I heard them. The way we think. The power of positive thinking. A lot of people depend on negative thinking to bring their art forward. So many comedians will tell you, yeah, I've I've come from a dark place. And from that darkness, there is laughter because so many people can relate with it. And see, that says there's a lot of bad thinking and we're laughing because it's like, yeah, that's me. Woo-hoo. But how do you get your thinking under control? I keep two different journals, the morning pages in the morning. And if you ever want to read a brilliant book, it's called The Artist Way from Julia Cameron. I invite you to experience all of her books. But that's a journey. And you're going to change on that journey. And a lot of people around you are not going to like those changes. But you have to be able to handle it in your own heart that I am going into this 
to change my life because my present life, the way I think, I'm in the wrong place. The other journal I keep is a defrag journal where I take thought and I break it down and break it down and break it down. And I get in arguments with my creative self and that inner core of myself, the subconscious up against the conscious. And you're, you're, you're not really tearing yourself apart, but you're making yourself aware of how you think. And through the powers of stream thinking, those questions come out from nowhere. I didn't have time to even think about it. And all of a sudden I'm going, here is this question I've got to answer. And you do so with transparency, which comes to another question and then another question. And you try to build upon that. If you were to go through my defrag journal, you would be so incredibly lost because the power of stream thinking, thinking before you think, is so available But in order to be available, I have to learn how to trust it. And it has to know that I'm going to learn from it. Once again, I challenge you. I invite you. Study your thoughts before they become thoughts. If it is a series of continuations, let's get before everything happens and see how your life changes. But, but you got to be willing to change. Because when you look in the mirror and that change is happening right there in front of you, and if you don't like it, you know what you're going to do? You're going to quit. And then you're going to go back to complaining about how things just don't feel right. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.